to death. Was that a new melee I just saw? That's the new skill tree. It's gotta be, bro. Hey everyone, what? it's Graham from the Borderlands 3 live team. I'm excited to tell you all that we still have more in store for Borderlands 3. Later this year, you'll see another DLC, this time including new game modes, missions, and an additional skill tree for each of the ball. Ah, there it is. We'll have a lot to talk about later, but for now, let's take a quick peek at Flak's new skill tree and pet. Okay. Okay. So a new skill tree means, of course, two things. New action skill ability and new pack. I'm proud to announce that Flak's new Trapper Aww. skill tree adds Hyperion Loader Bots as a pack. Let's go! Loader Bots are range-based pets, but eventually can be spec'd into more close quarters versions as you go down the tree. Bro, that All was like start as ion still with some mine. These are equipped with a Hyperion Shock Sniper Rifles. Their attack commands fire slow-moving shock projectiles that can be shot, creating shock novas. Later in the tree, you can evolve the Ion Loader into a Bull Loader or even War Loader. Bull Dude, Loaders use so a large cool. shield and Hyperion Automatic Shotguns to get up close and personal. They feature a strong melee roundhouse attack and can even use their shield to knock enemies into the air. Now the Deadly War Loaders. They pack incendiary Hyperion Shotguns and can toss grenades. Their attack command uses rocket pods attached to their backs to fire homing missiles out onto the battlefield. You can even spec these guys to be Exploder Bots if you like. Now for the action skill of the Trapper Tree, nice. the Gravity Snare. The Gravity Snare Trap tosses enemies into the air before slamming them back down into the ground. Okay. Any enemies caught in its radius will have their attacks interrupted, giving Flak a crowd control skill for the first time. We also wanted to address some feedback like, we had received uh, from the community Simone. regarding Flak and their pet survivability. So you'll see an emphasis on shields in this tree. For example, okay. the Better Toys passive ability gives Flak and their pets bonuses to recharge and recharge delay speeds on their shields. The Take This passive provides pets a duplicate of Flak's currently equipped shield. And the Fuzzy Math passive ability even restores Wait, a portion so of Flak and their pet's shields when they land critical hits. The pet skill tree and this the capstone like an for the trapper lot. tree is Capacitance. This skill effectively doubles Flak's shield and immediately begins recharging it whenever they activate an action skill. So that's just a peek at Flak. We Gamma can't burst. wait for everyone to get the loader bot. The skill tree. I'm gonna show all the people. So don't, don't just be Flak. Hope you're up for some weird I stuff. I think it's just Flak. Oh no. Hey everyone, we're not done talking about Borderlands yet. All right. I'm Pat Finn, producer for Borderlands 3, and we are bringing Borderlands 3 to Xbox Series X and PlayStation 5. Along with this, if you're a current gen player and you own the game on Xbox One, you'll get a free upgrade to Xbox Series X. And if you own it on PlayStation 4, you get a free upgrade to Dude, PlayStation Omar had a new melee ability, this though. This includes all content, all saves. You'll be able to bring everything over from the last generation to the current. Along with this, this next Who generation... Was that? That's Zane, be wasn't it? At 60 FPS in 4K in single player, the Borderlands have never looked better. And Zane's got an eye on Kane. As a new feature for the first time in Borderlands 3, we'll be bringing four-player split-screen to the Xbox Series X and PlayStation 5. Along with this, we'll be adding vertical split screen play to Xbox cool. Series X, PlayStation 5, PlayStation 4, and Xbox One. In 2021, we are proud to announce that we're bringing crossplay to Borderlands 3. Wow, so let's no go. No matter how you own it, you'll be able to play it with your friends. We're very excited Dude, about Dude, if they're this doing all this, they've got to like we can't have some new content coming out. Borderlands with you it can't just be these season. updates, bro. Which I think they did say they were going to have something else coming out. I think uh, that was everything. But a lot of those. Dude, well, we got new steel uh, trees. Like, That's uh, our team, uh, confirmed then now. Then there's some just like random stuff I uh that that's like, dope Ellie have my baby I think they it's said a new like, DLC there's a lot and I I hope players can find it I know, I'm gonna yeah. I'm gonna go in depth yeah. in a second we're gonna look at everything mm -hmm. we're gonna have more in store we're gonna look at this game later this year you'll see another DLC this time including new game modes missions later this year a, another DLC an additional skill tree for each of the okay so all this is coming out in a DLC I'm gonna rewind that again real quick see this still have more in store for Borderlands 3 Later this year, you'll see another DLC, this time including new game modes, missions, and an additional skill tree. For new game modes, missions, and additional skill tree. We'll have okay. a lot to talk about. I think I'm going to just go back to where they Along first with it, teased this. Player, and you own the game on Xbox. Yeah, I think it was right here. Yeah, okay, right here. Literally, <laughs> this is the first thing I noticed. Like, but why is that so loud? 
What is this? So it looks like it's like a mini phase grab. Okay, she like she is. I don't know if that's her action skill, like a melee augment. She like she she punches a nova bomb essentially from like destiny into an enemy. What was that? Okay, that's Moe's. Ah, uh, that's clearly Iron Bear. Oh, it's a mini Iron Bear. I'm gonna try to rewind it real quick. It's like Flax Pet, but it's Iron Bear. Wait. So it's, wait, so this is essentially just gonna be what she already has. She can just summon a mini one. This might be actually good with her new class box because that'll just give you more damage. It's depending on how long it stays out, which I would assume it's probably gonna stay out long, kind of like Zane stuff. I would assume. Uh, so that's how I'm, I'm thinking this is gonna work. All right, here's where I, I, I'm pretty sure this is Zane. He has this like ion cannon that he just pulls out, which is interesting. Uh, that's flag. We already we've seen that. All right, there goes a Morgan. Okay, I don't know why it went to the best part of the live stream right there. Okay, yeah, so that's, she's just punching that again. It looks like, it looked like it stayed there for a second. It was doing damage over Tom. Um, let's see. Yeah, it kind of looks like it's staying there with this like AOE effect. All right, then updates, yeah. yeah another each of the that's that's about it but yeah that now that that is honestly crazy i'm gonna try to fast forward it right here wait for everyone to get their hands on actually I, let's see yeah right here so i'm pretty sure uh you know next gen features three and four player split screen 4k 60 fps freed current you know next owners you know blah blah blah, blah. That's dope. So th th that that is just the next gen features. I don't know if they have like something out like this for um, what else we're getting yet. Uh, it doesn't seem to say so, but okay, whatever. So I'm gonna end this video right here. So we are getting new skill trees, a new DLC. He said later this year. So I expect another DLC this year. Interesting. Um. So we have, yeah, like I said, crossplay, new DLC, new skill trees, you know, uh, new weapons, every, obviously the stuff we always get, you know, hopefully new anointments, PS5 and, you know, Xbox launch. I'm pretty sure they said everything comes. So if you, all the console players, I'm sure you're excited about that. It's going to look beautiful on the new consoles. And yeah, I, I'm very excited. Like props to Gearbox. This is definitely what I hope for. Like, I, I really hope that they start adding like raid bosses type stuff later on. I hope it's not just this one new DLC and this like one new skill tree. Like I, I hope they continue supporting the game, but it seems like they are since they're, you know, they've addressed it as year two. So yeah, that's going to be for me. I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, reaction style video. I wanted to capture this live for you guys and kind of go over it because I knew this was going to be insane and it's looking super strong for Borderlands 3. But yeah, thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.